In this short video we're going to take a look at the rectifier of a Honda CB200 it's a 1970s bike. Um, this uh, unit um, converts the AC power coming from alternating current coming from the generator or stator into DC or direct current for charging the battery and powering the systems. On the CB200 there are two components in this electrical system, the rectifier and the regulator, and the regulator um, converts or regulates the power to reduce it from the high current that it comes out of the alternator at into the 14.5 volts or thereabouts needed for charging your system. Just before we carry on testing the rectifier, um, I thought it was worth showing you on the bike actually where it lives. Um, you'll find it underneath the top frame of the bike right in here so in between the uh, the carbs uh, inside the top frame and so the torchlight actually those cables just there in the middle of the frame are the cables from the rectifier to remove this unit you need to undo the petrol tank undo the bolt and then the rectifier drops out in the gap in the frame there and uh, you can then uh, disconnect the lead and disconnect the rectifier and take it out um, it is a bit of a pain with the carbs in there so it's, it's kind of thing that uh, take all the, the pipes out of the way and you might be able to do it. Now the other component is the regulator. Now the regulator is a much smaller device and sits in here behind the uh, air filter. In fact, let's move my torchlight. That's the unit just there. Um, but sits behind the frame the frame unit for the uh, uh, swing arm above the uh, the toolbox here um, and so that's the regulator just there to access the regulator you've got to take off the side cover left hand side cover take off the air box um, and you can then get to the the regulator uh, up inside there so those are the two components um, that uh, sort of control and manage the power that comes from the uh, alternator or generator that's in there. So yeah, let's get back to uh, testing the rectifier. Um, I've been trying to work out if this part is okay, if it's um, good to go into the spares box as it's off a, a scrap bike. But let's have a look at the, the system, the electrical system briefly before we begin. Um, I've done a very simplified sort of drawing here for us. This is the uh, rectifier unit. We then have the battery and the alternator. Now on the CB200 it appears that there are three leads coming from the alternator. It's a single phase alternator from what I understand. And the main power lead coming out of it is the pink and that comes straight up and directly into the rectifier. The yellow output from the generator appears to come as it, way, as it were part way from the system so it's not all the energy coming from it um, and that goes out to the rectifier as well. And then the third lead from the alternator which is a white yellow lead um, is then even less um, for, than the other two um, and it goes via the headlight switch. This is the UK models and the idea being is when you put the headlights on this makes a connection and therefore puts a bit more juice uh, through into the system. Um, for models that uh, in America and that kind of stuff you don't have this um, and the, it, it comes directly from here because your lights are on all the time. Um, so to test the unit what we have to do is test the, the four connections within the rectifier to make sure that all four diode systems are working and the way we do this is using a multimeter. If you don't know how to use a multimeter there are loads of videos on multimeters etc so I'm not even going to go into that. But we use what's called the continuity setting or diode setting on the multimeter. Um, it has a, a diode symbol which is um, uh, basically a one way, one way valve as it were, only allows the current to flow in one direction. So we test the multimeter working by connecting the two bits together and we get complete continuity or a closed circuit. So putting my positive lead from the multimeter onto the red white lead from the regulator and then connecting it uh, to the other three. So we'll start with um, the pink. So this is the main power lead coming from 
the uh, stator um, and as you can see the diode should show that we should get no reading putting a plus to here and a minus to here and so checking that onto the pink we get no reading on altimeter and likewise for the yellow and for the green now if we put the positive from the multimeter onto our green lead and test the other three points we should get a reading because the diode should allow the current from the multimeter to flow through the system so swap it over positive lead from the multimeter onto the green um, on the rectifier going to pink and we get a reading on the multimeter yellow and then to the plus so what this shows hopefully is that this unit is working correctly um, and it should be okay to put in the bike in the spares box and onto the bike um, so that's the very basic way you test um, a rectifier single phase rectifier um, on the CB Honda CB200 um, I'm going to do the same thing on the one that's on my bike already I believe it's all working okay and working correctly etc um, and I'm going to do some more tests on there just to make sure it's all working as I'd like to try and change the headlight and maybe put something in there that uh, enables me to see where I'm going at night um, so yeah, so I hope this uh, little video has been helpful on how you test um, the functionality of the rectifier on a Honda CB200 I'm just going to tack this short note onto the back end of this video. If you're new to the Honda CB200 and you're considering going out and getting yourself a workshop manual and I'd recommend you get yourself a workshop manual, just bear in mind that the Haynes manual for the Honda CB200 um, really covers the CB125, 160 and 175 as well as the 200 and the CD175 twin. Um, the details for the CB200 are a supplement at the back. In general, it, uh, it's roughly the same bike. Um, but the thing that is worth noticing is figure 7.7, .7, which is down as being the wiring diagram for the UK version of the Honda CB200, um, doesn't include the regulator. It's got everything else. So we've got the generator. Uh, we can follow the wires up to the rectifier. Um, and we can follow the white yellow lead from the rect from the state from the generator all the way through to the light switch where it is joined up to give a bit more juice into the system when your lights are on um, up to the rectifier and eventually to the battery but there is no regulator included in this circuit diagram whatsoever which does make it a bit tricky when you're trying to follow the wires and make sense of all the wires in the motorbike so that's one thing just to bear in mind um, about the circuit diagram um, for the CB200 UK version in the Haynes manual. If anyone knows where there is uh, an online version of the circuit diagram for the UK version of the motorbike, so the one with the the, the light switch shown on it as well, um, with the regulator, so I can work out how it fits into the system, I'd really appreciate it. I just add a comment into the uh, into the video at the bottom there. Um, uh, so we can we can find it um, but yeah I hope you found this um, little video useful on how to test uh, the rectifier on a Honda CB200 I know that there are lots of videos out there for the regulator rectifiers and so on but I've not seen one on, on the on the testing of the rectifier and actually once you've got your head around the diodes and how it all works etc it seems to be quite simple hopefully I've got it all right and uh, that uh, rectifier is a good one it's now in the uh, spares box um, for my bike if I ever need it um, I'll try and catch up with some more videos um, as we go through progressing uh, working up to um, actually restoring my bike completely. But yeah, thanks for watching and if you've got any comments, leave them below. Thank you.